May those words of Mary in the Magnificat, Father Ryan, resound each day of your priesthood and light the treasure in your heart. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord and my spirit exalts in God my Saviour because he has looked upon his lowly servant. Finally, Father Ryan, may the words of St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta never leave you. Celebrate each Mass as if it is your first Mass, your only Mass, and your last Mass. Sincerely, uh, Father Matthew Carlin, our wonderful parish priest here in St Francis Parish. Um, we're very blessed to have him, as you all know anyway. Um, I would never have thought when I was going through seminary that one of my best friends from seminary was going to become a parish priest just before my ordination. So it's been a real gift for me. Um, he's been very patient with me. Um, he's done a lot of mass practice with me. I hope that showed today. I met Ryan uh, when I came here as parish priest in 2007. Uh, I was his high school chaplain and that's how I got to initially to know him. Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. See my mum and dad? <laughs> um, Uh, they have been incredible um, for seven years, for longer. I can't do it. Um, <laughs> I think that's a clue. <laughs> no, I don't even know. Um, I couldn't have done it without you. Did I say mum and dad? I meant mum. Sorry. I'll leave it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, we're delighted. He's a lovely person, and I'm sure he'll make a good priest. He's lovely. Also to Chris and Kirsty uh, there as well, you have been uh, fantastic, especially in these past uh, four or five months. Um, I've really got to know Kirsty a lot better because I've been home and um, I'd like to thank you for all of your patience and when Chris, when I needed somewhere to just be and breathe and be myself and put my, uh, kick my shoes off, uh, Chris was there um, to put me up. So I'd, I'd like to thank you for all your uh, brotherly support uh, and for all of your love and friendship. Thank you. I'd like to mention in a special way um, the, the Mitchells. Um, so the, the, the one part of our family that couldn't be here, most of them, uh, because they're in the Philippines and obviously with uh, quarantine laws and things it just wasn't possible. And I'm glad though that Sean is here uh, to represent them. Thank you Sean. Uh, but to all of my, my family, uh, I'm very, very blessed to belong to such a wonderful, loving family. Um, I can't do this. Um, <laughs> um, especially my grandparents, Betty, John, Susan. Um, and also um, my late grandfather John as well. Um, thank you for everything. Thank you. I mean, absolutely incredible. Uh, you're so nervous at the beginning, and uh, I've had months of preparation, indeed years of preparation, but it's, it's, it's always different being uh, on the other side of the altar, but thank God. Th there's a providence in the fact that it was only my closest family and friends that were here with me, so the, the, their support was there. And of course, I'm so grateful for the hundreds of people that I'm, I'm told were watching uh, online as well. Um, special mention, I should have mentioned during Mass, uh, to my family, Sharon and Stuart and uh, Greg and Logan, who are in the Philippines and couldn't make it, uh, but they have watched uh, both Masses now. Uh, so thanks to Santa Familia for the good work. It's good for the church. He's very solid, but you find that with all the young guys coming out, they're very, very solid, um, very priestly before they become priests, they, they know what it's about. So, um, so. It was really special and I thought it was really good for Ryan to see his first Mass with us all. We really are the first generation of uh, social media seminarians, everyone gets a, a little bit more insight into the life that we lead uh, in Rome or, or indeed wherever we're training for the priesthood um, and so the support has been fantastic since as you said the documentary went out but even before I have been inundated with messages this weekend from people who start their message with you don't know me but 
we've been following you for years or for months since the documentary started on Twitter, on Facebook, through the Scottish Catholic Observer uh, and assured me of the prayers. It's just been uh, fantastic. And I, th I think I gained something like 350 new Twitter followers yesterday, uh, which is insane. But it's uh, yeah, the support and the prayers of, of so many people has uh, been uh, priceless, really. It's been invaluable for me uh, and I just really appreciate it. I couldn't have done it without their help and support. And last but not least, this, this might not happen. Even. <laughs> this might be very brief. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Um, Father Joe. Um, is, that, is that me? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I physically can't. I physically can't say. I physically can't say. Um, for everything, uh, including today's homily, which was wonderful. Um, for everything you've done for my family and I. Thank you. Thank you. I think I used to work on the radio. Um. <laughs>